In this following tutorial, I'm going to show you on how to set up Rokugo Studio into Wadudo so that way you can be able to use your Rokugo mocap suit inside of Wadudo so full body mocap basically or if you just have the gloves only you can also have that set up basically but primarily the focus of this is primarily like if you have the mocap suit and the gloves uh, this is how you set it up. Um, again, you'll probably have to do a lot of experimenting if you're going to mix and match different mocap stuff but either way we're going to cover Rokugo. Now, sadly, I do not have Rokugo face capture anymore as my subscription did expire uh, last year. But either way, I'll still use iFacial mocap just to sort of demonstrate the face capture stuff. But either way, I'll be showing you how to set up for both new Rokugo as well as Legacy, depending on which version of Rokugo you prefer. I'll show you both. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, in your if you're by any chance um, I highly recommend if you are brand new to Rokuko, please, please, please go to the Rokuko YouTube channel. All of the official Rokuko tutorials are there. And they explain every little thing about how to get started. So please check out Rokuko's YouTube channel before going here. Because uh, again, I can't elaborate every little detail of Rokuko. But basically what you're going to do once you... Pretend I have my mocap suit on and I'm doing the movement here. Right now I don't have it because it's too it's too blazing over here but basically um once you have your mocap suit and your gloves pretty much good to go what you're going to go do is you're going to click on live streaming so you'll probably be on devices click on live streaming and then what you're going to do is you're going to go um in case you by any chance are wondering about the boxes here if by any chance yours is not activated here just click on the gear button and then click on the button that says include connection that way you have the activate button right here Go ahead and click the button for Unity. Um, pretty much that's what you want. And then once you have the Unity one set up, what you're going to then do is go to Wadudo, go into motion capture, set up motion capture, set the face tracking to whichever you want, iFacial mocap, media pipe even, whatever you want. For my case, I'm gonna use iFacial mocap, or well mine is face motion 3, but it will run through iFacial mocap, but again, it's a matter of your preference. Again, with the blend shape mapping, it depends on what you want. If you have air kit blend shapes, use that. If you don't know what air kit is and you don't have the blend shape, then just use VRM instead. This method should let you know if your mall is compatible with it. Otherwise, I'll use air kit. Please make sure to click on no if you have a mocap suit. If you by any chance have only the gloves and you want the gloves to work with your um iPhone based movements then in that case you'll probably have to say yes and then for the posing you can set that to Rokuko basically um, I'm not sure how it'll blend I think there may be some issues I'm not sure haven't tested that fully but you know you can experiment at your own risk for that but either way I'm going to say no because uh, I'll say I have a mocap suit and the gloves and basically, for me personally, I would set the idle head animation to disable, but you can have it to be enabled when tracking. But I do not recommend always enabled if you have the mocap suit, otherwise you're probably going to have a weird head movement. Lip sync you can enable if you want, uh, but pretty much I'm going to click on OK. The pose tracking will set this to Rokuko, and then click on OK. And then pretty much, there you go. Um, so if by any chance uh, you do not see your model moving by any chance, it's probably because you either A, um, you selected the custom software one, uh, which from what I tested, it somehow did not really work with Wadido for some reason. I think it's because I had my settings set to this, this basically. Um, but even then, though, I would still recommend just use the Unity version, basically. So just use that. Um, but if by any chance you do have a set to Unity and it still doesn't work, check your profile's name. For this one, I'm using um, a sample scene, so it has the name Newton. But for maybe for your um, for your scene, you may have it named after your your VTuber name or something like that. So in that case, though. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go into the Rokuko receiver and rename the profile name to something, um, to basically the one that you named your profile to be, basically. Um, and for my case, like I said, mine's Newton, but yours may be um, completely different of a name. So make sure you double check that, basically. Um, but pretty much, though, um, you should 
hopefully be able to see it. If you still have issues with connection, please double check your firewall or uh, you can join the Wadado Discord server and you could probably report the issue. But even then, uh, in my experience, there are there shouldn't be any issues with the Rokoko receiver. For the most part, it's probably like a firewall issue or a bad connection with... Um, probably like a bad connection with the air in there or something like that, basically. So yeah. But either way, though, um, pretty much, pretty much, uh, though, um, when it comes to the iFacial mocap receiver, I should have a separate tutorial that goes over the iFacial mocap stuff, but basically, in a nutshell, you're not gonna really mess with these other settings, basically. The only things you'll mess with is pretty much configure blend shape mapping. So when it comes to configure blend shape mapping, you can of course mainly mess with the input settings. Let's say if I want my blinking to be, of course, more sensitive, you can of course decrease the number basically. Pretty much mess with the settings however you want basically. But that's pretty much mainly what you'll do if it's iFacial mocap. Um, I'm pretty sure you can also do the same with Rokoko Face Capture 2. Uh, but again, I don't have a Rokoko Face Capture anymore. But again, it is an option if you want. Otherwise, though, pretty much, um, besides that, uh, in the Rokoko receiver, you can, of course, mess with these settings, basically, which is pretty nice. Um, well, pretty much, though, I will say, uh, I believe from what I tested, these blend shapes only work when, if you have only, like, Rokoko face capture and you want to do, like, body-only movement, basically, I, these don't mess with the mocap suit i will let you know this is primarily like for the rokoko face capture if you're doing um camera only face tracking basically um hence why there's also the configure blend shape mapping if you're using the rokoko face capture so just keep that in mind but for the most part the least you could do uh at least if you have the mocap suit is just mess with these two basically you can mirror the tracking um and you can adjust the height based on studio actor. But for the most part, I leave this by default. But I will say, though, um, I will say I'm not sure when this will get fixed, but even then, this should be an easy fix. So you probably might notice that your Rokoko mocap, the head and the spine is probably not moving the way it should be. There is a fix for that. I don't know when it'll get fixed fix or if it'll ever get fixed but basically you'll have to go into blueprint select the rokoko pose tracking here and you're gonna have to move over here and as you can see right here the head and pelvis uh pretty much don't have their line so you just have to click and drag um over here basically like this you do not have to touch the face one unless you want to if you have rokoko face capture then you just connect the blend shape list here to the face but otherwise though um otherwise though we don't have rokoko face capture set up so yeah but even then you will probably set that up in the mocap configuration basically but either way that's pretty much how you'll fix uh if your head movement or pelvis is not moving properly that's what you need to do i'll be sure to let um, I'll be sure to, like, uh, maybe let the dev know, but otherwise, um, if, you know, it's perfectly fine as the solution is very easy to fix, basically. But either way, though, um, pretty much for the most part, if you follow the steps properly, uh, you should be able to have your Rokoko mocap suit working fine, even with your gloves. Um, I will also show you before we head out, uh, what I'm going to then, um... What I'm going to then show you is the Rokoko legacy method. So we're going to go ahead and turn this off. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up Rokoko legacy real quick. And then uh, make sure that Rokoko here closes basically so it doesn't conflict. Uh, for my case, my character won't move. We don't have to restart the whole setup as the, you know, it should be fine. Um, so Rokoko Legacy, I will have mine where I have my spinning mocap test. I'm going to click on one of them just, just to pretend like I have the mocap suit on, pretend. But basically, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the live stream on and you're going to make sure that the Unity one is selected. Do not choose a custom one. The custom one is best for like, you know, Rokoko to VMC program or other programs that support it, but otherwise... Uh, Unity is the one for Wadido, basically. So you choose that one. And then um, you make sure that should be on, hopefully. I think for my case... Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, the 
uh, for my case, mine is set to demo profile. Um, so I have to rename it. So demo profile. And there you go. Um, yeah, definitely very important to make sure the profile name is correct. Very important. If by any chance you want to add more or less smoothness to your Rococo mocap, here is also how you can do that. So basically, you can go down here, so in the Rococo Pose Tracking, um, basically you can be able to go to the Smooth Rotation List and decrease or increase um, how smooth your tracking will be. Um, again, it depends on your personal preference, really. But basically, you should be able to mess with those slider values, and hopefully it will make like a bit of a difference regarding your tracking. Um, otherwise, though, it is a little bit more recommended that if you want smoother tracking, use the newest version of Rokuko Studio. Um, so, yeah, because again, the new, studio, the new version of Studio, they have a higher FPS, and I believe they also have some settings for smoothness. I'm not sure if it's added yet. I think it'll be added in a future update, but either way, uh, just keep an eye out for Rokuko updates, though, as they'll have features to improve your mocap quality. But I just want to at least uh, let you guys know about those nodes, basically. I also want to actually add an extra note. If you are using just the Rokoko gloves only, right? Only the Rokoko gloves, and you want to combine it with the face track. So let's say like your face tracking is eye facial mocap. That's going to be like your primary body movement, but you only want the Rokoko gloves. Then pretty much um, in, under blueprints and post tracking, you will have to make sure that if you only want the Rokoko arm stuff to disconnect the left and right leg and make sure head and pelvis is disabled. That way uh, you can only use the Rokoko arm stuff. So that way you can combine a uh, camera based you know body tracking or you know face tracking basically but only have Rokugo gloves if you only want that just wanted to add that extra little note but otherwise though pretty much again uh, like I already showed with the blueprints if you follow the steps properly you should be able to have your Rokugo mocap suit or gloves working and also you can even have your face tracking so you can have full body tracking with your lovely VTuber model. So yeah, I hope that this tutorial helps you out on using Rokuko and Wadudo and join the Wadudo Discord server. So if you have any questions about Wadudo, feel free to ask away and the peeps there will gladly help you out. But I hope that this helps you out and have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!